between mental health and spirituality. And I feel like we don't talk about that enough or we don't address it enough in the black community. I know that there has always been, you know, this discrepancy between mental health and the church in our community because older people in our community tend to say, you know, take your problems to God, go to church, pay your tithes and all of that. Whereas now mental health is becoming a topic that is more freely and openly discussed. But I say that there's a fine line between spirituality and mental health because, and I'm a mental health professional, but I feel like you still have to be careful about what you say in a therapist's office if that person cannot relate to you. Too often, I have read paperwork, integrated assessments, mental health reports, mental health assessments, and it talks about what, to me, comes across as a spiritual interaction. For instance, um, someone might say that, oh, God told me to do this. Or, you know, I received a message to do this. And to me, that sounds like a download um, or a conversation with God. But to someone who does not come from the black community and who's not informed, it sounds like psychosis. And that's dangerous because taking what someone says that was a spiritual interaction the wrong way can lead them down a road of destruction. People end up in psychiatric hospitals just because they had a spiritual interaction or people get labeled as being schizophrenic just because they can, they're receiving messages from their ancestors or something or the other. You see where I'm going with this? Like, it's a very fine line between mental health and spirituality. And I feel like more people need to speak up about it. If you are going through something, I'm not telling you not to seek mental health services. Seek, find yourself a therapist, but find yourself a therapist that you can relate to and that relates to you. I have a good friend that she lived on the south side okay so not necessarily in the best area however you know in some of those old buildings it'd be rats it'd be rats and like the walls and stuff like that she told a mental health provider you know that she was sitting down in the basement and that she heard scratching in the walls which is very much you know true <laughs> it's not far-fetched especially if you have rats or mice running around and they took that as her having psychosis and it's just like huh like no i live in the hood like she live in the hood it's really rats in the wall you feel me so it's like things like that they take it record it and boom now that's on record so it's like i understand why some people are apprehensive about seeking the help that they need because Coming across a therapist nowadays is tough, especially after COVID. Everyone is booked. It's hard to get an appointment. So sometimes you have to go with, with whoever's available, and that's not necessarily always a good fit for you. So just take that into consideration if you're looking for a provider, if you're trying to encourage someone else to seek a provider, and make sure that you're talking to someone that you're comfortable with and that's not going to misconstrue what you're explaining to them as a mental health disorder when really you're just speaking from a spiritual standpoint.